it's a tough one. You know, we obviously gutted it out, and uh, you know, when you're shorthanded that much, it's tough. You know, I know the shots on goal were totals were piling up pretty quick, but uh, you know, with the number of penalties we took in the third, it was tough to play some five on the five hockey. But it was nice to get the win. You know, there's been games this year where um, we either got one point or even I know we only lost four in regulation, but where we've played really well and maybe not, not got the full two points. So uh, that was one of those games tonight where I felt they were certainly had more energy and, and more jump, but they didn't play Friday either. They weren't playing a three and three, so uh, it was one of those games where maybe we just either it was just as big as how it ended. I mean, we just we didn't deserve maybe the, the win, but we'll, we'll take it and move on. Energy at the beginning. I can't remember a buzz in the building like that for people because they were talking about the teddy bears to right. score right off the right off the hop. Yeah, no, it's yeah, every time the teddy bear toss here is awesome, and um, unfortunately, you know, when you score a goal, you want to build on that momentum, but then you shut it down for 25 minutes. It's uh, and we were, I thought, flat when we came back, uh, and the rest of that period, um, you know, had a little bit of. Um, in, Intensity in the second period there, and I, I felt real good at two nothing. But then the penalty started piling up. Have you ever seen a guy get the teddy bears toss goal and then get a game misconduct? <laughs> no, I've seen a guy score the goal, maybe assist in a fight, but nothing like that. And I, I miss the uh, you know they said that he went from side to side and you know, and targeted the kid. But uh, you know the way I seen it, I thought Mitchie came out of the corner and. Uh, came over and, and the kid was kind of falling and, and how he hit him, it, it, you know, it, he, he did get impact with the head. So uh, just one of those calls, you know, thankfully uh, they stepped in and got the two-minute instigator. So it was only a three-minute kill instead of a full five. So that helped us out a little bit as well and we were able to, uh, you know, get through that. But uh, obviously that full two-minute uh, kill and five on three in the third was, was a tough one for us. Not only did you win the week, you got five points against two of the top teams in the league, and and there's a consistency without, with with the exception of that little three-game spot there. Are you pleased with what what's going on here generally? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we got good chemistry and uh, you know good balance in the lineup. Where we got contributions from from different people on uh, any given night. You know, Friday night, uh, Borders line with O'Brien and Thomas scored all four of our goals, and uh, last night we had different contributions. And then again today, you know, goaltending steps up and makes some huge saves for us, and so chips in with a goal. And um, yes, so it's that's how you have to win hockey games. Is different guys have to be the heroes every night. Um, um, but there has been some, some consistency in our play, and um, it's good to see because, you know, our, I don't know if I've been on a team where you've gotten points in eight straight and, and still see yourself in fourth place. Usually you find separation when you're getting points every uh, every night in the standings, but uh, our division just seems to be real tight this year and seems to be the best division again uh, in the league. So we just got to continue to worry about ourselves and, and uh, continue to pile up more wins in the standings. And I said to the players, we just got to go week to week as we've done since I came back as the head coach and um, move five out of six again. And, you know, now we'll head into week nine, and I believe we're seven seven weeks wins and two only two losses so far. If you look at the uh, – or six and two, I guess you would say, say going into week nine here. So uh, another big weekend coming up with Wilkes back-to-back. Back. Denver versus the AHL goal tonight. You've had him for three games now. What is your impression of him? Well, he's been getting better. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, when you only play eight minutes and change in the NHL and you're not looking to make mistakes and you're basically chipping and retrieving because you're, um, you know, not able to make plays, you're not touching the puck as much. And at the NHL level, they don't practice as much either, right, because they're basically playing every second night. And, and certainly this year with a condensed schedule because of the World Cup, uh, a kid like Sanford is not practicing hardly at, at all because there's so many optionals and, so he's out there on the optionals basically by himself because nobody else is skating. So it's a little bit tough spot for him. So for him to come down, I thought he was average on Friday night. Uh, I thought he was, th you know, we had him real good last night and had a real good touch, as you could tell. He's getting a feel for it. Uh, and, you know, in, in terms of a three and three, uh, I thought he was one of our better forwards again tonight. And it was nice to see him get rewarded because really he hadn't scored since the rookie term in Florida. Uh, so we'll see. You know, we're going to find out tomorrow. Uh, there's a potential that he stays for another three 
games. Uh, they basically told us three to six. Now they play Buffalo at home tomorrow, and then they're going to reevaluate uh, where they're at with uh, Carrie and Verona. Uh, and also through talking to, to me tomorrow, uh, they'll make a determination whether he should stick around and play three more games. But, uh, um, you know, I'm sure that felt good for him tonight to finally get the first one out of the way. And uh, we'll see if we got him another weekend. And if not, uh, we'll wish him well when he heads back to Washington on Tuesday. Good. Thanks. We'll see you next weekend.